Hi there. Let's say you got yourself your favorite IC, but unfortunately it's only available in an SMD package. This makes it impossible for you to test this IC on a piece of breadboard. So in this video, I'll show you how I made an adapter for these kind of SMD ICs so that they can be easily plugged in on a piece of breadboard and can be tested. These are all the parts that will be required for the build. I first made the design using the device signature of the SMD ICs and male header pins on Easy EDA which I later exported in PDF format so that I can take a printout of the same. Using a sharp object like a compass, I punched in the necessary holes at places where the header pins would go. I then got myself a small piece of copper clad board which I had cut according to the size of my PCB which I later attached with the printout. With the help of the permanent marker, I now mark the position of the pins of the SMD IC and the male header pins on the copper clad board with the previously made holes that I had done on the printout. With those markings as a reference, I then connected the male header pins with the pins of the SMD IC using a permanent marker. With the markings on the board complete, it is now time to etch away the excess copper from the board. For this, I am using a ferric chloride solution. Make sure that you take all the safety precautions before using this solution as it can leave some nasty marks on surfaces. Keep the board in the solution for about 10 to 15 minutes with occasional stirring. And as you can see the excess copper has been etched away by the solution leaving only the copper traces that we have drawn using the permanent marker. After washing the board with water and some acetone this is what it looks like. Yeah some of the traces are not up to the mark. But then, you cannot expect much from a trace made from permanent marker. Next, I soldered male headers on both sides of the board and tinned the entire traces so as to compensate for the poor etching process of the permanent marker. I also made sure that the traces for the SMD IC have sufficient clearance so as to avoid any kind of short circuits.
After soldering the IC in place and connecting it to the respective mail header and making sure that there is no short circuit, this is what the entire module looks like. I also numbered the cornered pin of the IC so as to get an orientation of the module. And as you can see, this module fits in very easily on a piece of breadboard which makes it very easy to test out the circuits that we wish to make with our IC. I hope you like this build and the video was informative to you. If so, please consider subscribing to my channel, share your feedbacks in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one.